Good morning YouTube and welcome to another below par video from the Aid Reeves channel. Um, today you join me on the ZX9R and today uh, she's getting a transfusion. She needs some new blood in her. So she's going to get some new oil and a new filter and then um, probably not used again until next year. But uh, it's a rainy day, miserable and horrible in the UK so um, it's a job I need to get done before the poor old beast gets wrapped up for the winter and uh, yeah in internet times it's going to take about three or four minutes um, in real time probably about half hour not a big job nice and easy and I'll take you through it really quickly like I did the oil change on the on the car last time so let's get to it so I've got my mini sun on the situation uh, as you can see the oil filter is tucked right in there which is a bit of a pain because what happens is obviously if you take it off it, uh, it drips on the, uh, the exhaust pipes down in there and makes a bit of a mess everywhere. But uh, such is life. Um, the drain plug is it's kind of under the other side, can't even see it. <laughs> so I've got to reach under, drop the drain plug out, get as much oil out as I can and then uh, get the, the filter off, put the new one on and um, fill it back up again. Easy as that. The only one problem is um, the fill's on the other side. So. I think I've got to turn the bike around a bit, or at least bring it out a bit. Bear with me. So the oil of choice today is this one, a Portaline a Super DX4. Um, I tend to use the Castrol, but um, this was on special offer, and pretty much it's got the same specifications as the Castrol, which I've used for years, Castrol 1 I think it's called. So um, yeah, I, I got this. Um, like I say, meets the same specifications, has pretty much the same ISOs and all that sort of stuff on there. So uh, yeah, a special offer was had. Right, got the bike turned around, as you can see. And like I said, I need to get in there, drop the oil, and uh, simply stick the new stuff in. There you go, I've turned you upside down so you can see where I'm going. So I trust the old 17 on that one there. And it should come off pretty easy. Just like that, trusty bowl waiting, like so. And now I can't get my arm in. <laughs> oh, this is fun, isn't it? There you go. We're in. I'll quickly undo that. And out it comes. As you can see, pretty clean. It's not done much use. In fact, let's have a bit of a taste. Mmm, that tastes... Yeah, it tastes about 585 miles. Mmm, okay, right, let's let that drain out and then we'll get the filter off. If you've never noticed on these before, there is a magnet on the bottom. Always good to check that, and as you can see, perfect, lovely and clean. That's what I like to see. Okay, that is all the oil out, so I'm just going to crack that back up again. Now, as I said before, this is an alloy sump, so you don't want to be giving it very much. Uh, my preferred method is fingers on the headstock there, and the heel of your hand, just to nip it up until you can't put any more pressure on it. In fact, I'm going to get my torque wrench out and just see what I've done that up to. I guess uh, between 10 and 15 newton meters at most. Let's, uh, let's find out. So here's the moment of truth. Stick it on there. We are set to 10 newton meters. Okay. Let's go up a little bit. 15 newton meters. Oop, I'm going to get it on there. Okay, so I would say, yep, that's about 15 newton meters, and to me, that's about right. God, me using torque wrenches, whatever next. Okay, so, some plugs back in, and now it's time to get that little beauty off. Now, there's loads of uh, ways to do this. My preferred um, bodgy cheap tool is this, just because it does the job, basically. There are better tools out there, but... Um, let me get it in there and I'll show you how easy it is to uh, crack it. Okay, so it looks a bit cumbersome, but it's in there. And so if I go to the front, there you go, it's on there and it's up in there. So you can get your hand in there. Remember, it only just needs 
you to crack it. So all we do is give that a little push like that, as you can see. Oh, boom. It's gone. It's as simple as that. Also, when you put these back on again, don't go mad. You know, they only need to be a little bit more than hand tight. Else you're going to be in a world of pain when you kind of take it off again. Right, let's get that filter off and make a mess. And here is the new Hi-Fi filter, HF303. I'm sure it fits hundreds of bikes, but there you go, Japanese bikes. It has a nice little protective film on there, which I like. And uh, it also comes kind of pre-lubed, which I haven't seen on many of the filters. Um, but it means you don't have to stick a little bit of oil around now on your finger, which makes life so much easier. Um, yeah, well done. They're really cheap as well, less than a fiver. So um, let's get it slapped on there. should go on nice and easy. If you're having to force it, you've probably cross-threaded it. And just give it a little bit of a <clears throat> with your hand. There you go, that's as hard as I can tighten it with my hand, and that is enough because that seal will swell and it will lock and seal properly. So the new filters on there, gonna clean up the oil spillage a little bit and uh, then top her up. So topping these up is probably the trickiest bit because that is at quite an angle, as you can see, and very easy to spill. So this is where the good old British bottle comes into play. Okay, this is just a squash bottle. That's all it is, and it's got a little um, seal on there. And all I do is give that a little bit of a twist in there. <laughs> he says, "There you go, a little bit of a twist in there. That holds it in quite rigid. And now you got something to aim at. Hey, not just a pretty face. Oh, okay, not not even a pretty face." Yeah, I know. So there's four litres of oil in here and it will use about three and a half. Now remember, uh, your window is obviously where you view the oil level, but also keep in mind, if you're doing this on the slant like I am, when you hit that bottom level, um, you need to stand the bike upright to make sure you're not overfilling it. Do not, I mean do not overfill these. You will blow seals and knack of the engine. Right, let's, um, let's get it topped up. Two hands needed. Okay, so she's had about three and a half litres now. Uh, as you can see on the glass there, nothing showing at the moment, but if I pull the bike up and level it off, as you can see, it's pretty much on the top mark. So that's about where you want it. Um, a little bit over at that point won't matter too much because what's gonna happen now is obviously gonna start the bike up and uh, that will then fill all the oil ways, it will fill up the filter and uh, the level will go down slightly. So uh, right, let's um, let's try and gas myself out with uh, with this bike. Now this truly is a first start. So, oh, lovely. Alarm off. Everything on, switch the lights off. Choke on full, a couple of bips on the throttle because it is a carb model and obviously there won't be much fuel in the carbs. And then we hit the go-go button. Hey! hey! Straight away. But, uh, that should be enough now to get the oil pressure up. So just give it a minute. So I'll give it a minute just for the oil to settle itself back down again. Right, let's see where it lies now. And as you can see, when I straighten it up, it's on the bottom level. So we just need a little bit more in there to finish it off, and then we'll call that a good job. And there you are, it's pretty much bob on to be honest. Okay, so that is the wheel changed. Uh, cap obviously goes back on there. Give uh, give that area a bit of a bit of clean up to get all the oil and horrible stuff off there. Cap goes back on like so again be very careful plastic cap you want to get the threads right it should go on with your fingers like that and that is it that is the oil change done 
So guys, that's it. Um, I think she'll probably go away for the winter now. If we get a couple of dry days, um, I will fetch it out, but it's got to be dry for three or four days and uh, it's got to be fairly warm because obviously they're not winter levers. Um, so again, do feel free to subscribe, like, comment if you like, you know, uh, tell me what I've done wrong, um, hit the dislike button, anything like that. Your choice, it's YouTube. We, uh, we're here for abuse and nice comments. Right, catch you later guys. Have a great day.